Hello everyone, my name is Ehsan, I'm, I'm part of Coded Me group and the main designer of uh, Adonis team. Uh, first of all, thank you for purchasing uh, our teams. Uh, and uh, if you have any question uh, which is beyond uh, this video series or our online documentation, please feel free to contact us via email or our Twitter page. Okay, first of all, I, uh, I want to show you how you can install uh, PyroSimus Ready Package, uh, which is available as a feature in your download package. Uh, right here we have PyroSimus Package with little Adonis, uh, and uh, in the folder we have a database folder, files, and uh, README, which is a quick instruction for installing this system. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm gonna grab these files and just paste them in my uh, public HTML. Now uh, here we have already something, so just replace it and extract them here. Okay, let's give it a proper name. I don't And there you go. Here I have uh, PyroSimus latest version, which is uh, 2.2.1 currently, and all features, <coughs> excuse me, uh, which is available in uh, Adonis package. Now we need to create a new database and import our uh, .sql file into that database. Uh, in order to do that, we go to phpMyAdmin uh, and just create a new one. Okay, now select the database and import. Okay, we're done. Just one more step and uh, you're gonna have a complete a copy of our demo page in your localhost. The other step is uh, just the config which you can do in system CMS config and database.php. Just edit it with some editor. And here we are. This is your uh, server configuration host name, username, password, and database name. We here have Adonis demo, so let's do it. Okay. Let's see if it's work or not. Adonis demo. Yep, it's working, and here we have a complete copy of our demo site in my local host. Uh, it's it's really helpful for you because you can see uh, what have uh, we done in our demo page, and how we create a new page, how we define widgets, uh, layouts, pages, and um, a bunch of other stuff we use in our demo page. So uh, the backend. Here we are, pages. Yep, these are pages we use in our demo pages. That's it uh, for PyroCMS Ready Package. Okay, let's start with PyroCMS 2.21. Here I have uh, the original version of PyroCMS, latest version, uh, and I'm going to install it on my localhost again. But this time I'm not using uh, PyroCMS Ready Package, just uh, PyroCMS itself. So let's create a new folder, name it Adonis, and paste them here. And again, I need a database, uh, so again, phpMyAdmin, home page, databases. And create a new one. And it's so let's test it. 
Okay, here we are. Installer. Step one. Enter your database, which is Adonis in our case. And username root, password root. And okay, this is default user, username admin. Just some demo information here. And install it. Okay. Now go to website or panel. This is it. A fresh Pirate CMS 2.2 version. And this is the backend. So what is next? Step? Next step, uh, we're gonna install uh, the main theme, Adonis, and uh, following by following that, uh, we will install PMaker, and, and the other will remain for uh, other parts in this part. It's enough for this part. Okay. So let's see what we have here. Yeah, Adonis package once again, team, and <coughs> here we are, Adonis. Okay, again, we'll just copy it. And uh, I do this in Adams shared Adams, in fact, but you can do it in your admin panel, backend panel, and uh, we are uploading directly uh, the zip file. But I rather do it in this way. So just in share add-ons and themes and here and extract it. Let's delete this one. Okay, we should be able to see it right now. Means. And yep, here we are. Adonis is a responsive template for Pyrocyms 2.2. Now, Sir Johan and name. Okay, let's set it as a default term. And let's take a look at options. Here we have show whether or not show breadcrumbs, uh, layout, and color of theme. Uh, a brief explanation. Uh, and this is clear. So layout. Uh, this is the main layout of your website. So uh, if you generally need or have a website with a two column or full width or a side by right, side by left. Uh, whatever you just came here and uh, select the proper option so uh, that's it uh, and uh, color of theme uh, here we have six predefined style red blue and green pink and uh, brown uh, which you can use them if you like or additionally you can set your own style in, in, a, in a style folder which is located in uh, uh, in CSS folder inside the team and uh, just edit one of these and change the and, and change the default color with your uh, own color that's it you will have the uh, custom style for template okay enough for this part just save it let's see our website Here we are, Adonis uh, default page, yeah, home page. Uh, of, course we, of course, we don't have anything yet, but we will be in a few uh, parts. Uh, let's, uh, let's add just uh, an, a slider uh, to use in your home page. You need to install PMaker module. This module will give you uh, an engine which you can use in your website as a slider engine and then 
uh, assign a widget uh, to uh, a specific area. And here we have a uh, slide area right here uh, below the header, and we're gonna set uh, our slider into this area. Okay, let's see how we do it. Again, add-ons package features and this time I need a module which is pmaker just grab it and paste it in share that on the modules here and extract it that's it so let's take a look at backend and then modules, here we are, pmaker, add image slider to your website, simple. And version is 1.210. Let's install it. The module pmaker has been installed. And, and now, first thing we need is some image, of course for our slider and uh, we need to upload them using file manager in order to do that let's take a look at files here we are need a, a new folder let's uh, give it a name home slider and upload some image Okay, upload. And here we are. Just drop files here. And click on upload. Okay, we are connecting. Now uh, let's take a look at image. We need to first to create a new slider and then assign uh, our slides to the slider. Give it a name and settings uh, include jQuery which we do not need right now because uh, the template has jQuery uh, already and we do not need to include it. So just save the settings. Okay. Uh, now we need to manage our slides. Uh, just come here and available slides. Uh, you need to select the uh, image folders. Which is entitled now. I don't know why. Okay. Just drag and drop them in here. Put them here. And another one. Yeah, additionally, you can uh, have some specific setting for your slide, like caption, like uh, whether or not you want it linkable. Uh, some settings like this. I want a caption right here. Uh, of course, you will not use this, but show caption yes and save. That's it. Uh, let's assign a widget widget. So uh, first we need to define uh, widget area of course. Available areas by default is just a sidebar. We need some extra areas. And uh, here I am going to add one and name it a slide. Okay, and assign an instance of a widget to this area. PMaker has uh, the, the PMaker that comes with Adonis uh, template has camera slider full settings widgets for uh, using as a slider. So just you need to put this widget into a slider area. 
and give it a title of course slider we're not going to show this so it's not important and choose a slider slider home and we have some settings here and I'll be back to these right after I see the result this is uh, the default uh, slider but I'm going to customize it because I don't need some of these options and so I'm going to edit this is full settings yeah it means all options which is available in original plugin you will have access to them and you can edit it and you can play with settings and build your own slider but here I just wanna make exact version copy version of the demo slider which we used in our demo web page so in order to do that I need to adjust some of these settings like height which is a percentage of width pause on hour yes enable pagination no thanks and loader and loader I don't want it this circle I want a bar so just select the bar and loader BG color loader opacity and five for that's it but position direction we need to define okay let's see it let's see it first and then we'll come back here we are one another play is redundant we don't want it Play pause, play pause. Where are you? Play pause. No. Okay. And one other thing is caption. Oh, this is it. Uh, if you notice, you will see that this caption is a full width. Uh, but in our demo, we have uh, a smaller one caption here. You can define uh, your own width, caption width, and define it as many as uh, you need. Pixel, I mean. Uh, caption width, where are you? Caption width, here we are. Okay, something like 250 pixel is enough right now. So I'm just going to save it. And we should be okay now. Yep. Here we are. We have a slider in our home page and a caption. Okay. Thanks, guys. Uh, thanks for watching this guide part one. In the next part, we're going to build our home page and some other page. Use our widgets. Use our yeah, plugins and yeah, we have a lot to do. See you guys.